Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome to Updates. I'm filming this Saturday evening. Wilson settled in for an early evening nap. We got up early today and we've exercised quite a bit. This weekend, I've done a better job not buying, but if you saw last weekend's updates video, that's not saying much, but I've just been busy at home and trying to get my craft room under control. I will show you a few things and then tell you my plans for tomorrow. First, last night, I think it was last night, two nights ago, I was working on my Hard Candy Christmas collab and my embossing gun quit in the middle. I hadn't done that much embossing at all, but I was having a little trouble with my hand, so I wonder if I was holding it unusually. Be careful that you're not holding it over the vents. I panicked and immediately ordered a new one because we're going into winter crafting, and I've waited all year to use my snow marker. I had washi tape on it. And I even have, I have a brand new one and a partial. I get really excited about these and you need a embossing gun to do it. So I have a new one ordered. This thing did come back on. So I don't know what's going on. The one I had for 20 some years worked, but this one didn't. And Noni's been killing a lot of them lately. So I don't know, maybe it's just us. But anyway, be careful that you're not covering your vents. I thought maybe they were full of dog hair, but that's not the case, so. We'll see. We'll see if it has problems again and has to completely retire or if now I have two. I ordered the WOW new one that has dual speed. The newer guns are hotter and make way less wind. So they don't blow as much of your embossing powder off. They actually melt it quicker. Pros and cons. I like to use things up all the way and I was a little sad that I ordered once it came back, but that's okay. I picked these up at Mecca. I think I had so much stuff in that haul that I may have missed showing you these and I want to take a look at them. There's four fold, but there's two of them. I don't know what they are. I thought they were gonna be a little bit different. I was imagining using them in journals. 50 cents, I thought I would try it out. Oh, yeah, you do. This is a pocket. This is a pocket. The paper is a little bit slick. That's fine. It just wouldn't have been my first choice for decorating them. And then I think they would go like this and it would tuck in a journal pocket, a little bit bulky. To thin it down, I could cut this off and I probably will I'll probably cut that off and just glue it right there. A neat idea. Sometimes it's fun to pick up things like this for 50 cents because you can use this as a template. Anything that you can unfold and look at that is 12 inches or less, you can make, right? Because you have 12 by 12 paper. This one, you'd have to get creative to figure out. You could make it a threefold. There you go. So you could drop this one off and still make the same idea. I thought those were fun. Last weekend, I picked up those Lawn Fawn snowflake dies for Noni, and these are what she was making with them. So this is the outside, and she's got it all sprayed up, and then, I don't know, she didn't spray the inside, but I probably won't use the insides with them. I was thinking this would be really cute around your sentiment. Like, I'll use my stickers. I found a bunch of my stickers after I sent all my happy mail, by the way. So something like that. You could have your Merry Christmas or your Happy New Year or whatever inside there and be framed. That would be fun. They are darling. Then I have Happy Mail from Heather. Let's see what she sent. She's got another one of those cute cappuccino stamps and some really neat leaf stamps on here. I opened it, but I didn't peek at all. Oh my gosh, look at that leaves and it looks like she die cut or fussy cut this one out of her paper thankful for you and she's got a bow oh, heather oh my gosh this paper is like luxurious and look at these stars that she's die cut for me oh my heavens these are amazing this feels like not like origami paper, but definitely like some sort of fancy Japanese paper. It feels wonderful. 
These are great. Oh, look at these joy with the nativity in the middle. That's really neat. Oh, butterflies. Don't you worry, you guys. I have lots of butterflies. We could make a dozen butterfly journals and not go to the store. Thank you so much, Heather, for your kind words. And I'm glad that I can keep you company and that my channel inspires you. I appreciate you and I know that we don't all have easy jobs and I am happy to help those of you who do amazing work keep doing it. Look at these. Oh my gosh. Really, really neat. Thank you, Heather. Adorable. And if if you cannot resist the urge to send me a little something, this should be your max. A card, a flat envelope. This is so generous and sweet and I know that Heather was thinking of me. Okay, so last night, I thought I was pretty cool. I was making progress on things, and I've been doing this thing where I filmed, like, Thursday night, my room was really bad. Friday morning, it was still really bad. I think Friday night, it lo looked a little better. Like, every 12 hours, or just at random, I've been filming my craft room. And I thought, great, by the end of this weekend, I'm going to have the bird journals put together, and the craft room cleaned up. Because... My craft room has reached a point where, have I talked to you about the container concept? I think it's Dana White. She's a blonde lady with curly hair. She has done some collaborations with Cass of Clutterbug. She talks about your house as a container and you can only have as much as fits nicely in your container. Well, my craft room is a container and we have exceeded the size of it. So I really, really need to do some tough love kind of tidying and start looking at, okay, clearly this doesn't fit. Do I need every item that's in here? And if so, do they have to be kept in here? I don't think so. Today I put one of these that was filled with purple ink in a set aside for Andrea because I've had it for probably a year or two and I've never used it. And that's Andrea's favorite. So she should have it. Really looking at does this stuff have to be here? And then I remembered, I was looking at my calendar, I was thinking I was all tricky and had all this time the rest of the month. Um, smash that small paper pad is on Thursday. <laughs> and this is the paper pad that you chose. You'll notice it is not even chopped up. I just counted the sheets, there's a couple missing, so that helps me, and it's a 24 sheet pad. So I'm lucky that you didn't choose a 36 this month. So I will definitely be working on this because in a perfect world, I would finish this for Thursday because I don't want to drag it out and I have so many things I want to do and I have a lot of stuff. So my goal is to use it up and get it out and cheer people up. I've been doing pretty well sending out cards. So that's what I'm working on. Also today, which I didn't touch this obviously, I did pretty well on like real life, like weeds, walking, Wilson, exercising. Just so you know, exercising and taking care of yourself is part of crafting and relaxing because if you don't do that, you can't have any fun. So I spent some time on the treadmill today, pretty good. I made two videos. One of them was a box of stuff that Mary gave me. She said, hey, do you want some books and magazines? And she put them on her porch for me. It's amazing. It is amazing. Noni's going to have her knee, knee done in January, and she's going to come over tomorrow and pick out a whole bunch that we definitely want to set aside for her to read when in January. And then I'll go through them and decide which ones am I going to keep by the couch? Which ones do I want to put by the bed? That should be a fun video. Then I sewed two bird journals together today and made a video of that. I haven't done any more ephemera work and I haven't done this bin that I showed you last week that stuff that's ready to go in journals it hasn't been touched I was about to use it I said it here and was about to start putting in the stuff in the journals and then remembered oh I need to film updates so I moved it but that is ready to go then I have one last piece here we prepped this in a video I think it was the ephemera video and then I used the thing I was going to glue on here on something else. Not not even a bird journal. I can't remember what it was, but I remember thinking, oh, that's weird. I'm using this probably because it was sitting right here. So I'm going to put this on here instead. I stamped that and was letting it dry. So I think my plan for tonight is I'm not going to touch this except maybe when I'm sitting in bed. I could take my 
small Tim Holtz cutter and just chop it up, get it prepped. Look at how many of the sentiments do I wanna use or do I wanna use the other side? Kind of make start making those decisions. Then it would be all ready to go. I think I could move these along pretty quickly, but I wanna focus on the bird journals. And let me show you, I do have that video that I made of sewing the stuff together, but let me kind of show you where we are on the bird journals. The table has gotten not so deep. <laughs> is that a technical term? So I think that helps a little bit. There is a section. This is this end underneath it was for one journal. Over here was another. And then that's the third journal. So I sewed the first two together and I decided that I'm not going to focus on the third one. I'm going to get them done. And then what I do is I have some stuff here where I've already pulled what I want out for the first two. And I don't like to duplicate items as I put them in. So I'm going to just put those right here. And then that pile will build up. And then I'll have a little pile here. I'll put that one together. In a perfect world, which I don't live in, that would all be done. And this would be cleared off tomorrow. And there would be room for Noni when she comes over. Mm, yeah, that could happen. I've been getting up at like 5.30. I just... I don't know what I do. <laughs> Drink coffee. You can see it's not better. This is my bin of stuff. I pull it out when I sew journals together. This is the other cover. It is being quite a turkey, but I think it's salvageable. Noni and I play a game and it is, hey, my room is full. I'm going to send this to your house. It's good stuff. It's stuff that we don't want to throw out, but you know, we can't use it fast enough. Really, if if you want to move into our neighborhood, we'd love it. So she had these, and of course, they say joy on them. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to open them up. I'm going to take the joy out. I probably won't keep the hearts. If I was doing a Christmas day or a daily journal for December or something else, I think I'd rather use stars. There are some paper collections in here that have black. This one's a little small, but it might be fun to use a paper collection for a daily journal and then have joy on it. I don't know. We'll see. I was thinking I was going to make some December dailies. Uh, I don't know. Put them on Etsy. Put them, do a giveaway, something, because I have too much paper. But now I'm not sure we're going to make it there. She found some enamel shapes that had some candy, so she sent those my way. Look, candy stickers that were in her stash. She has a ton of printed paper, and she would be okay with you knowing this, so I'm going to tell you. When she first started paper crafting, I sucked her in, right? And if you watch me, I love printed paper. I buy lots of it. I use lots of it. I still buy too much, but I use lots of it, but I don't love to color. I'm not into tedious dyes. I won't spend a weekend on a card. I won't spend a day on a card. We have completely different styles. Her cards are a work of art. Mine are uh, cute enough to make someone smile, but allow me time to make cards for other people too. So she really doesn't use printed paper. She has a lot of it, but she doesn't use it. She doesn't make journals. She's not going to use a whole bunch of crazy ephemera stuff. So she's really identifying and saying, hey, this shouldn't be in my room. Now, what she does use is not this. I thought she might use this one, the cute marshmallow one. When she makes really fancy embellishments, she likes to have, say, a candy cane stripe paper behind it. So what her and I talked about is she has a whole bunch of Christmas paper collections. She's going to open them and she's going to do what our friend Andrea does. She's going to go through, she's going to take out all the pieces of paper that she likes, regardless of collection, it doesn't matter, and then she's going to send the rest my way. Because I don't want to go through her paper collections and mess them up for her, but she's not going to use really busy patterns. So it was a really interesting conversation. And that's what I'm trying to get you guys to do is think about in your purchasing, what will you use and what do you like? And it is hard in the beginning to figure that out. And then it's not better later because you get more skills and you see more things and you want to try more things. Just remember, you don't need all the things. <laughs> this week I'm really excited about because I, you know, I have these videos going. I didn't forget about hidden paper clips, Tony. I was going to put together a video 
altered paper clips, hidden paper clips, showing you the difference, and maybe link to some others. If I find a really great short tutorial, I will just share that with you. But uh, Tony is a fairly newer paper crafter, and I want to make sure that it's not over the top. This week in the U.S. is Thanksgiving. So many people get extra time off. If you're not cooking and hosting, think about what you could use that extra time for, that project you haven't been getting to, that UFO that you want to wrap up, all that sort of thing. If you are hosting, take some of these uh, beautiful fall papers and use them to make some decorations for your table. Use some die cuts, whatever. My friend Sherry probably has her table done right now. It's probably gorgeous. That's one of her tricks of hosting a big holiday event. She sets up the tablecloth, the tables, everything way in advance, which makes sense if you think about it. You're not going to use that tablecloth or those napkins Monday through Wednesday. You can feed your family off of paper plates if you need to. <laughs> so just really you know, figure out what you could do with this extra time that you might have if you're in the U.S. I realize in other places you might not have any extra, might not be a holiday for you. So totally get it. I will be working on smash that small paper pad, clearing off the table, getting the bird journal situated. And I'm on the bird journals. I'm to the point where I've got to get them put together because I'm tired of them. Then maybe, maybe some December dailies. If I can't get them done pretty soon, there's no point in doing them, right? Because they wouldn't be in people's hands. It's November 20th. It's pretty late. <laughs> But, you know, it could happen. So if you have interest in a December daily and you would like to get one from me or something, you just let me know. I can help you out. We, I can put something together pretty quick. The bird journals, I've just gotten so sidetracked with the ephemera and all of the choices. They're taking me forever, but it doesn't have to take forever. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you're taking time for crafting and relaxing and taking great care of yourself. Bye-bye.